duckies, Andy here. And do you ever just want to create a thumbnail? Maybe you're doing YouTube streams and you need to make a thumbnail on the day ready for your live stream. Well, I, rather than take a photo, use a camera, set up a tripod, let me show you a way that we can do it directly in OBS. I wanted to make a thumbnail for the Obsbot tail air camera and I need to be holding it and look all cool like thumbnailery and everyone's like yeah just take a screenshot take a screen grab something like that I'm going to show you a way we can do a countdown in OBS so you know exactly when it's going to fire off and you can get into position set your camera up ay 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 do whatever you want for a screen grab directly in OBS really cool you're going to learn a lot of different techniques in this video I will be using Stream Deck for this but you'll be able to use any I mean any software out there because it will be able to do it in Streamabot, Sammy, Atom, you name it, you'll be able to do it in that software because it's pretty basic. So I've got OBS just here with my video input which you can see right there and we're going to create a text source okay and this is going to be the countdown just so I know when it's going to count down. So I'm going to grab a text source just here and I'll just call it three and then press OK. And there is so many different ways of doing this, but I'm just showing you basic. You can just have one text source and have it count down. There's a load of different ways of doing it, but I'm going to show you really basic, okay? So I'm going to type in the number three just here and press OK. And I'm going to just make it really big in the middle like so. And I'll do Control D and it'll center it. And then I'm going to copy this source. So right click and go to copy. And I'm going to paste a duplicate. And um, you know what we're going to do, we're going to rename this, call it number two, like so. I'm going to change the text to two, and then you can see we've got a three and a two now. And I'm going to copy it once more. Well, I could press paste duplicate again, sorry, because we've already got it copied. Press F2 to rename, and we'll number this one. And press enter, set this to one as well. And now we've got one, two and three. So we've got three different sources doing a countdown. Like I say, there are different ways of doing this. If you have a favorite way of doing that kind of thing, then let me know in the comments, all right? And I've got my camera. So I want this to count down three, two, one, and then I know, boom, it's photo time. So the way that I'm going to do that is use Stream Deck. So I'm going to go to the Stream Deck software, right click and press create a multi action. And in here, we're just going to go to the OBS Studio section where we can see all the different things. And we're just going to change source visibility. So we're going to drag that in and it's going to load up OBS. We're going to select the scene, which mine is just chatting. And then the source is three because we want to start it on three. So if I press this button now on my stream deck, boom, three appears. Okay. So what we then need to do is wait a second, right? So we're going to add a delay. So if we search for delay, inside of the Stream Deck software, drag that in and we'll say wait a second. And then what we can do is this source visibility again is we can copy it, paste it, and we need to actually hide number three this time. So we're going to hide number three and we're going to paste again. And this time we're going to show number two. Oh, so I accidentally did something silly there. So now if I show you this and I press the button, I'm going to hide this. If I press the button, it'll go three, two, just like so. And I'm going to add another delay. So I'm going to copy this one and paste it. And we're going to wait another second. And then I'm going to copy and paste the hide. But we change this to number two. We'll copy and paste this one for number two and change it to number one. And then now it will hide number two, show number one. And then what we'll do is wait another second. So we'll copy that second, paste it once again. And then as if by magic, we need to hide the last one. So we're going to paste, make sure we put it in the correct order. And we're going to hide number one. And then what I'm going to do is add another little bit of delay. Just so it gives me an extra little bit of breathing room to react. I'm going to do 500 milliseconds this time. And then I want it to do a screenshot. So if I do a search up here for screenshot, you'll see OBS Studio screenshot. We drag and drop that in. And I'll just show you that running now. If I turn this source off and you'll be able to see down here when the screenshot is done. So I'm going to press the button. Three, two, one. 
and then boom, there you go. The screenshot has been saved. So if I go to my folder where the screenshots are, you'll see I'm there. We've created a nice little countdown timer for a screenshot to get ourselves in position. So I want to start adding a little bit more to this to get a specific working for me and everything like that. So I'm going to go into my camera settings. So I'm going to set up some focus to basically focus in on the camera like so and blur me out. But literally as soon as I move the camera, it auto focuses. So depending on what camera you've got, I'm using an Insta360 link on this one because it's the, the one that I've got set up for main recording. I'm going to go to more settings, go to manual focus, get this into a position where I'm roughly going to have it and we can start tinkering. If I move this out of the way, you'll be able to see. I'm going to move this autofocus until that gets into focus, just like so. And then now I'm going to be able to hold this up to the camera whilst leaving me blurred. As you can see, doesn't matter if I'm covering it up, wherever, because we're on a manual focus. So I'm going to get the this, this thumbnail is actually going to be for a video right today, which is incredible. So I'm going to get ready. We've got the countdown set up. We've got everything set up here. I need to just get 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 my Vogue on and get posing, right? About there, I think. There we go. That should be the one. I quite like this camera. A little bit of flair just here on the camera. And boom, there we go. This is going to be my thumbnail. Everything looks pretty cool. Just add a little bit of text to it. You'll be able to see the finalized video as well, which you've probably already seen on the channel. If you haven't, make sure you are subscribed. I'm going to change this back to autofocus. And there's so much that you can do with that, okay? So you could set a, an audio alert. So as it turns the sources on, you could get it to make a little simple bing noise or something to just keep your focus. And there are different use cases for this. I just kind of wanted to show you something as I was making it because that's the first time I've done this and I've used it live and created something with it. So hopefully you find it useful. If you did, hit that like button and subscribe because I do all kinds of different tricks and tips just like this. And I'm doing 365 videos this year, which is pretty crazy, all right? I'll see you in the next one. Put your rock up the stone.